What's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up launch control. If you've been following along with the building, you know that I have a G4X plug and play ECU from Link. So first things first, the first thing we need is a way to activate launch control. So uh, normally the most common one is going to be the clutch switch. Um, some E30s have clutch switches, some don't. This one luckily does have one, so I'll show you guys here. You can see that that right there is going to be your clutch switch. Um, so I'm going to pull that off. There. And basically the way I'm going to be setting it up is one wire, one of these wires is going to the ground and the other wire is going to the ECU. I pretty much already did the wiring. Um, this one is going to be our ground here and then this one dangling in front is going to be our uh, digital input for the ECU. So it's honestly quite simple. It's just as simple as plug and play at this point. Alright. So that should be good to go. So let's turn on the ECU and see if it's working. Okay, so now we need to assign the uh, wire that we just put in, which is digital input number eight out of the expansion harness for the ECU. So if we go into motorsports, it might be hard to see with the way this camera is, or this the way the screen is, but in motorsports, there's gonna be a setup for launch control. Click on that. We'll be turning that on to single launch RPM. It'll take a minute. But now here we have uh, our configuration. So now activation control, we're gonna have to set up. That's where we set our digital input, which is gonna be number eight, right after the ethanol sensor there. So, let's go ahead and save. So up here on the configuration, uh, we have our pull-up resistor on, we have our active state as high. Uh, you might have to play around with this a little bit, do a little bit of reading on here, but uh, it depends on how you set up your switch, whether it be a ground or a 12 volt signal. Um, I set mine as a ground. So now if you pay attention down here to launch control, once I press in the clutch, it activates it. it. Let go of the clutch, it deactivates it. So now that that's working, now we can continue with setting up our ignition timing and everything else like that. Um, input latch, we're going to keep off. Disarming speed, uh, that's kind of irrelevant because this car doesn't have a speed signal going into the ECU, so it doesn't really know what it's doing when it comes to that. Um, but I'll set something up just just for the heck of it. Nine miles per hour is fine. Uh, TPS activation, we're gonna set that to 20%. Yeah, that sounds good. So arming speed, two seconds. I'm gonna keep it at two seconds. This basically, this is the time after pressing the uh, clutch switch that it'll begin to actually uh, activate launch control. So this, uh, the reason for this is because sometimes in between shifts, it could activate uh, unintentionally. So this gives us a little bit of time to shift. Um, launch RPM, 3000 RPMs, that's fine. Uh, let's see here, ignition retard single zone. Uh, we're gonna do degrees absolute for now. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, ignition trim activation, 80%. Let's see here. Uh, ignition trim activation, we'll do 3000 RPM as well. There we go. Um, and this is going to be degrees absolute. Sometimes you can set, so in the link ECUs and a lot of ECUs, you can set um, relative degrees. So basically, how much it subtracts from the uh, ignition table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a degrees absolute so I know exactly where it's going to be. So we'll start at zero degrees uh, before top dead center and then we'll pull ignition if needed. Um, but I think zero degrees will get us where we want. We don't want it too aggressive, we want it just slightly. So, five milliseconds, fuel percent cut, limiting. 
Uh, see here. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and control save. Um, and I'm going to let it get a little bit darker outside so I can go out into the country and uh, test it out. But yeah, these should be the settings as far as I'm... Um, as far as I know, but we'll tweak it and adjust it if need be. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a little, let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, go ahead. No flames. No flames. No flames. What the fuck, bro? Okay, so you guys just saw that the launch control was working, but it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. And that's because I wasn't getting any flames. So I looked over the tune and quickly realized that I made a mistake. So if you look down, it says launch limiting mode. Um, I had it to fuel percent cut. And you can't have it on fuel cut if you want flames. Because it's obviously there's nothing to ignite. So what you need to do is switch that over to ignition cut. And that will cut ignition and allow the fuel to go unburnt. Go into the exhaust manifold and therefore create flames. Um, so just remember that if you guys want flames, um, you have to have ignition cut, not fuel cut.